Hello, everybody. It's about that time. Let's go see what's in the fridge today. Hey everybody, thanks for stopping by Greg's Beer Reviews today. I do appreciate it. Guys, y'all been seeing this this beer and a couple of other ones that has plead the fifth from Dark Horse Brewing uh, <clears throat> in the fridge for a while. <clears throat> Rico sent me several different variations of this and I have done one or two uh, and I didn't go back and look and see which ones I've done. Uh, he sent me these and we're going to do these like I've never had them before. Uh, this particular one here is the black label with a logo cap and the notes he sent here states the black label with the logo cap uh, and and that's very hard to differentiate black label with a logo cap he says is a 2012 and then in 2013 they did a black label with a logo cap the ABV of 11% was in the top right corner and the new government warning well, it does have 11% in here, and then it does have, uh, I'm sure it's got a government warning because that's acquired by law, and it's got it on here. So, guys, to be honest about it, I'm not sure whether this is the 2012 or the 2013 edition, because uh, both of them have black labels with logo caps, and uh, and they're, most of them are, unless it's barrel age, is 11%. But it does have the ABV in the right upper corner at 11%. Uh, so I'm considering this a 2013 edition. So uh, Rico sent me this beer. And I'm going to mark this off. Because these beers have been in the fridge for quite a while. Y'all have been looking at them on the shelf. And so have I. And we're going to get to them pronto. Uh, so this is the first one of the three that I have in the fridge right now. Uh, and this is not a bourbon barrel aged version of it. So let's get on with this. 11% uh, Imperial, Russian Imperial Stout. And uh, Untapped has it at 41 IBUs. Uh, commercial description there says it's big and full bodied with lots of roasted malt and balanced with heavy hops to, to put this Imperial in a league of its own. And guys, like I said, uh, they do uh, this beer every year, and they do a regular version and a barrel-aged version, as far as I know. So, uh, <clears throat> this one, uh, like I said, uh, I'm thinking this is a 2013 edition, so it's five years old in the bottle. So, let's see what that brings to the table and see how well it has cellared. Uh, 41 IBUs, according to Untapped, so we got the ABV at 11, IBUs at 41, and we're thinking this is the 2013 edition with the information that Rico has sent along with uh, with these beers. So, let's see what we have here, guys. That's it. So, that's final beer of the evening for me. So, uh, but we're going to try to get to the other two that I have pretty quick. Uh, into the glass we go. And I will tell you, the food pairing says general chocolate dessert digestive. I mean, it ain't pouring any head at all here. Glass bar to pint glass, Becker, non tumbler snifter. I got my favorite tulip glass today. And it says it can be cellar for a long period of time. Well, we've already got five years on it, as far as I know. So, absolutely no head. Pouring no head at all. So, eh, it's a 12, uh, it's 11%. So, sometimes those bigger beers don't pour a lot of head. Uh, seem to be a little undercarbonated. So, it is pitch black, guys. I see absolutely no light coming through the beer. To the nose we go. Rich roasted malt. Hints of uh, black molasses. 
not getting any kind of chocolatey notes on it right now, but it's cold right out of the fridge. Those might come out as it warms up, which we will let happen. And there might be some dark fruit in there. And I mean, I'm getting a little bit of a little bit of raisins and dark fruit in there. So uh, let's see how it's selling. Cheers, everybody. Cheers, Rico. Very nicely done. It has sellered very well, guys. For 2013, which I'm thinking this is, according to the information that Rico is giving me, uh, it has sellered very, very well. It does appear to be a little undercarbonated, but it's got a very tasty, t very tasty taste. Imagine that. Tasty taste? Is that a word? A very nice sweetness. Uh, to me, it seems a little on the thin side for an 11%. That may have something to do with how long it's been in the bottle and the carbonation that came out when I did open it up. It had a little bit of a hiss, so I, I'm sure it's not flat or the uh, carbonation has escaped. Uh, decent beer. I mean, I don't think it's world-class, outstanding, blowing my hair back or my socks off, but a decent beer that has sellered very well. And like I said, I didn't go back and look and see which ones I had reviewed and which I had had before, but it seems to be a very tasty beer. So, it's right out of the fridge, 40 degrees. Let me sip on it for a while and see what we end up with. Uh, very impressive, I mean... Uh, I would buy this beer if I could get it here, and I think pretty sure now that they are putting some kind of vintage uh, on the label, because I do have one in there that's bourbon barrel aged with wax on the top of it, and it's got 2013 vintage on it or something. We may do that next. Uh, won't be the next beer, but we may be the next dark beer we do. So let me step on this, and we'll come back and find out where it lands. All right, guys, I'm back. Got this one left here. Been sitting on about 30 minutes or so. Uh, very tasty beer, guys. Uh, they sell it very well in the bottle. If what I'm reading correctly from what Rico has sent me and what I'm looking at on this bottle, this is a 2013 edition non-barrel age version uh, with the uh, the label and the logo cap. Uh, I'm just guessing. I think these guys put some kind of vintage on them now because I got one over there in the fridge that uh, that actually has a vintage stamped on the label so I think these guys are dating their stuff now but this older stuff like this uh, they didn't uh, you had to go by what color the cap was and what, or it had a logo on the cap or, or or color of the label and where the ABV was and whether it had the government warning in a certain place uh, I think they're doing something a little different now to let you know what vintage it is and, and all that kind of stuff whether it's a regular version or a barrel aged version so uh rico sent this to me uh and from what i can tell it's a 2013 edition non-barrel aged version that's what i'm getting from what the color of the label is and what the avv is in the corner and uh, the logo on the cap so it is what it is that's what i'm deciphering here and uh, as far as i'm concerned it's about a five-year-old beer this is 2018 this is a 2013 so it's selling very well, guys. Uh, a very tasty beer. A very enjoyable beer, especially for the final beer of the evening, which it is for me. Very nice roasted malt notes. Hints of some dark fruit in there, black molasses. Very nice beer, guys. Very, very tasty beer. Final choke. very very nice and we're going to get some of these older beers that's in the closet and in the refrigerator out it, even if I only have to do one beer review of the evening and it's going to be the final beer these big heavier dark beers which I've been putting in the closet and, and cellaring in the fridge uh, we're, we're going to start getting some of these out uh, 
I do get a lot of IPAs and, and, and double IPAs and we have these and some other styles of beer. Uh, but I, I have an abundance of heavier beers, Imperial Stouts, Imperial Porters, and uh, stuff like that that sell very well that I have a closet full of and, and the refrigerator downstairs is full of. Uh, so uh, we're going to start doing some of these beers and get, and get to them. And I've said this before. Uh, uh, there is an abundance of these in my fridge that have been selling for quite a while because people send me beers all the time and I try to get to the pale ales and the IPAs and the double IPAs pretty quick and these bigger beers like this end up collecting and uh, I, I get a, a very big accumulation of the, those styles of beer and uh, I probably got beers in, in the closet in here that Rico sent me five or six years ago so we need to get to those beers and uh, and uh, and review them, guys, uh, and see how they've cellared and whether I've done them before or not. Uh, we need to do it. So this particular beer here is cellared very well, guys. Uh, uh, I think it's a very tasty beer, uh, and and uh, I enjoyed this beer. Uh, there's a little bit of confusion on what color label, what color cap, whether it has a logo on it or, or not, and uh, so. Uh, a lot of things go on with different beers and and whether it has wax on it and it's bourbon barrel age and where the logo is and and where the ABV is written on the label so it can be kind of confusing sometimes so uh, but I think this is a very nice beer a very enjoyable beer a great final beer of the evening even though it's only 11 percent when I say have only 11 percent there are beers that are much bigger than that that I have done all the way up to 21 23 percent and, and the utopias which are 26 to 28 uh, percent there are some awesome beers out there and you should try as many as you can get your hands on especially if you like beers in this particular style or whatever style it is so uh to me guys uh a minus for me on this one and the a minus scale is an eight and the number is between 90 and 94 for an A minus. Uh, I'm going to give this a 92. That's where I'm going to put this beer, a 92, A minus. And we're going to jump over to Beer Advocate. And Beer Advocate says 4.31, outstanding. And they've got the white label pictured here. And this is the dark label because Beer Advocate clumps them all together. They don't differentiate between the years or... Or whatever uh, I think they do differentiate between the, the barrel aged beers and the non barrel aged beers but uh, they clump them all together and I'm not a fan of that guys so uh, I wish they would just say this is the 2013 and untapped doesn't even do that either on this particular beer they just say plead the fifth imperial style 11% and they've got pictures of the white label which is, is the black label so uh, it's very confusing sometimes trying to figure out what beer you have especially if somebody sends it to you or you've been selling it for a while and didn't write on it when you bought it or what vintage it was so uh, can be very confusing especially when they do these beers every year and they've been doing them for a long time so as best as I can see from what he has sent me uh, we're reviewing the 2013 edition of the non-barrel age version black label logo cap ABV in the upper corner so uh, got to jump through hoops sometimes to figure out what you're drinking and what you got in your hands so uh, very tasty beer guys like I said that's where I'm going to put this uh, we're going to go over to Beer Advocate Beer Advocate's 4.31 awesome numbers from those guys here but they remember they're clumping all these together whether it's a 2010 or a 2017 edition they're clumping them all together so over to untapped and untapped didn't even have it usually they did they differentiate between the years this particular one i'm not seeing that they, they've clumped them all together and the pictures are showing is the white label and this is the black label so i'm not sure if i'm giving the correct information here guys so and these guys say it is a 4.14 which is in their a category also so got to make up your own mind here uh what you have in your hands and what year it was done uh, so 
that's why I, another reason I want to get these beers out of the refrigerator and get them done and, and, and get on with it because it's very confusing sometimes on what information you get and what color the cap is, what color the label is, does it have a logo on it and all that kind of stuff. So we need to get them out of here. They got to go. They got to go. All right, guys. So if you've had this one from uh, Dark Horse Brewing, this is the Plead the Fifth Imperial. As far as I'm concerned, the 2013 black label, logo on the cap, ABV in the corner, the government warning. I mean, it's just uh, how many hoops you got to jump through to figure out what the hell you're drinking. So, uh, that being said, if you've had it, let me know what you think, guys. Till we meet again, let's go see what's in the fridge.